Hits and welcome back to another video. As you may have noticed, I'm not blonde anymore. <laughs> I literally took it back to my roots. Literally. My table just melted <laughs> when I leant on that. But anyway, as I was saying, I literally took it back to my roots. Way back to when I was a little starlet. And yeah, believe it or not, I'm a natural brunette. <laughs> so when I was teeny tiny, I was kind of mousy blonde color. Um, and then as soon as I got to about 13, 14, and I hit the big P, you know, you know, hormones and stuff like that. When that hit, that time came, that was it. My hair went really dark. So. I have some pictures to show you. They were kind of around when I was about like, you know, maybe, I don't know how old it was, on the dark. So. Anyway, the reason why we're here today <laughs> is I did Bambi nails for Easter. And you know, I thought it would be cute. Okay, so here we are. I have buffed and filed all the nails and we're going to start off, of course, with Bambi. So we're going to do the background and he's going to be in a little field and he's going to be really cute and get that done. And the background will kind of be the same for the majority of all the nails. So we'll get that done and then we'll get on to putting a little Bambi on his little field. Hello, voiceover Nova Star here. So I'm going in with 333 in this really light blue shade to get the first background colour down. And this is going to be the sky. So I always start from the very, very back, back background and then work your way forward. Makes it a whole lot easier. And then I'm going in with 607 in this really nice light lilac colour and just adding that to the nail just above halfway. And then I'm going to grab myself a sponge and just start dabbing away to create an ombre effect on the nail. Okay, so next I'm going in with 338 and 828 in these two green colours. And with a fine detailing brush, I am going to be doing the grass, starting off with the darkest green first, and then give it a cure. And then I go in with the lighter green and just keep on building that up until I was happy with how it turned out. Okay, so now I'm going in with a matte top coat here as it makes the whole process of doing nail art that little bit easier so that you're not working on a slick surface. It's more of a matte background. It's a lot easier for the gel to uh, be applied to the nail. So here I am just sketching out uh, Bambi onto the nail. So I'm starting off with his back legs here and I'll just keep continuing to sketch him out and then we'll get into filling him in.
these here are the two colors that I'm going to be using for the color of Bambi A08 and A07 uh, in a darker brown and a lighter brown and I will uh, here and there slightly uh, mix them together just to add shading and depth into Bambi and just keep using those two colors simple pies simple pies simple pies what's a simple pie <laughs> simple as pie easy as pie we'll get there
Okay, so just adding the finishing touches now to Bambi. And I decided to go ahead and put a couple of flowers down in the grass to make it a little bit more spring-like uh, as these are for the season of spring. And I went ahead and outlined those two. And now adding a glossy top coat to the nail and that finishes that first nail off. And there he is. I'm super happy with how he turned out. So moving on to the next nail, I already done the background and in this nail we are doing of course the lovely flower. So I'm going in again and doing the outline sketch in white as it's a lot easier to cover with colour rather than sketching it out um, in black. And we're just plotting out where we want um, him or her to go um, and then start filling him or her <laughs> in. <laughs> And that is it for part one of the Bambi Nails. Um, don't forget to turn on the bell notification button so that you don't miss that upload when it does come up. I'm uploading once a week at the moment. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and a comment if you liked these nails. And I'll see you on the next one. Happy creating. Bye.